We welcome back Louis IV, who has just had a small misadventure with the guillotine. This cutscene does not change at all, even Peru is there. Filthy swine! I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive! You're not going to get the better of us! Mother? Louis, you've come around. How do you feel? Uh, I... it hurts. Mother? I... I... I can't feel my arm. Louis, I had to cauterize it with what I could find. Where's my arm? We'll get through this, Louis. Don't worry. I think I found a solution. You'll see. We gotta leave. No, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. I need to see this through to the end. I must do it. We've done it, Louis. Look. Stubborn as a mule. Come on, up you get. I'll help you. Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. Uh, and now what? Let's take what we came for. Yeah, I can ask to tell me the solution. Wait, I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Tell me, where did I go wrong? Can't you just tell me what it was instead of the dialect tree? The three nails? Yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. Apart from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. The things that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. The cross to activate the mechanism and the nails to choose a date. What did you do once you uncovered the iris? I matched the icon of the crown of thorns with the town of Golgotha, where the crucifixion took place. Well, how did you manage to crack the puzzle? Then I had to link the crown of thorns to the date of the crucifixion, according to the exegesis. But I failed to understand the first time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the 26th of March. To conclude, I had to use the armillary spear to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion, which turned out to be in the first quarter. All that was left to do was to link all those elements on the same axis. But where are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything specific. It's the lance with which the Roman Centurion pierced the side of Christ on his crucifixion. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? The rest of the cutscene is exactly the same, so let's go get that spear. So, Louis is now missing an arm, and he's suffering from a relatively minor status effect. There are several spearheads. I need to find clues to pick the right one. Piaggi knows something about it for sure. I don't want your clues. I want to get the spear. There's several spearheads. I need to find clues to pick the right one. Piaggi knows something about it for sure. Ah, uh, fuck, I actually have to go and talk to that asshole. So, 
Things are pretty bad, aren't they? There are demons around. I've got punched, shot, got my hand chopped off. Oh, look, a penny. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it would be worth today. Let's see if I can fail this. Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now. Of course not, Your Eminence. Come now, Louis. Please don't insult me. It's just a pity that you have no idea why you are looking for it. You Skipping the second question, I accidentally succeeded. If I told you why I needed this lance, you would never believe it. Trust me, you can tell me anything. It's our only chance to vanquish the demons. Oh my dear god, Louis. You sound just like Sarah. Do you realize you are following the same path, step by step? Sarah also started by imagining things. She too spoke of demons, I am told. She could no longer speak to anyone, and saw a hidden monster in every guest, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour her. You must let us help you. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. God keep you. I cut it, but yeah, he also told me about the spear. Shame, really. I wanted to piss Mortimer off. Hold on, does having my arm chopped off affect me at all beyond that status effect? Oh, there we go. Agility and lockpicking cost two points more. Oh, that's it. So that's no penalty if you have the two skills maxed out. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Hard to kill time on this island. Nothing ever happens. Gets a bit boring, don't you think? Are you joking, my friend? I'm sure you're just being ironic. Yes and no. It's true that the manor is full of books and works of art. Unfortunately, the subjects are restricted to Lord Mortimer's specific tastes. The Crusades, religion... Yes, that's true. By the way, have you noticed the representations of the Holy Lance he's got all over the place? Uh, no. It was the last thing in my mind, to be honest. Oh, well that's a pity. I would have enjoyed chatting about it, as I would have done with my mother. See you later. Oi, George. Wanna comment on me missing a fucking hand? Anything? Like, sympathy? Or, I don't know, surprise? No? No? Well, fuck you too, George. I don't need any more clues. Let's go get the spear. I must be sure of my choice. I, I can't get this wrong. Am I sure this is the one to take? Alright, so I've got the spear. And I've got the perk for picking one. Just one, doesn't matter which one. Somehow picking a spear earns you a point in conviction. I'm not sure how that works. Do I wave the spear in front of their faces? And that's the end. Next we'll wait and see what people have voted for for Louis II. And then comes one of the more ridiculous quests in the game. <laughs>